It is extremely hot out. I know. Mm -hmm. uh, when Sarah took that temperature inside that car, remember it was 129 yeah. degrees? Yeah. So, um, and she cracked an egg on the sidewalk. She was making our breakfast all ready for tomorrow morning, I guess. Right? Yeah, it's over easy, I think, <laughs> is, is how we're doing this. It's been about 15 minutes, Sarah, so how is it now? We'll check on it a little bit, but first I want to give you guys some tips if you have to be out in the sun. Doctors say try to avoid being outside, but if you work outside or you've missed the sunshine after that long winter, I completely understand. Doctors say make sure your skin is covered, a long light shirt, hat, sunglasses. Um, and if you have exposed skin, you're going to the pool or out to the lake, make sure that you wear an SPF of 30. They say that protects you against about 95% of UV rays. Any SPF that's higher than 30 is really incremental. So let's check on that egg again. Um, so it's still still a little runny, but you know what? If I, if I pick it with this fork, you can see some of it has cooked a little bit more than others. And let's take a temperature reading here of the concrete again. That's about 115. And even though it is starting to get cooler as the sun sets, doctors say to still be as vigilant as before about being hydrated and stay in a cool place, take breaks, go into the AC. And if you don't have an AC, you can check our website for cooling centers in the area. David, Paula. All right, Sarah, we'll check that egg on our way out to our car here at 630. Should right? be ready for dinner time, it I'd say. Yeah. It's going to be a little gritty, but I'm sure yeah. it'll taste yeah. just fine. Thanks, Sarah. And a good reminder, too, as far as having pets out there, the, the pavement temperature for them. Yeah.